what do you do when things go opposite of what you hope for <laughs> So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Given Swinina. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, nakupenda. So, today we're going to start the video by answering one question. I want you guys to help me answer this question on the comment section. Before you ask me another question, please answer this question. What do you do if things turn out to be not what you expected? What do you do when things go opposite of what you hope for? So that is the question of the day. So please make, make sure you comment down below. Just answer for me. Answer for me. Okay? So guys, uh -huh. today I'm going to do a video on the interview question at the embassy. German embassy to be specific for the national visa for intended marriage. So in this case, we are doing the national visa in Germany and for specific purpose which is intended marriage in germany okay so this is how my interview went maybe we are different and maybe they ask different question but this is how mine was and i want to share with you so that you can be prepared when you're going there to know what you expected to do and the questions that you're expected to answer so i hope this video will be of help to you so without wasting time Let's jump into the video. So, um, of course, now you have already prepared your papers. I told you, you must prepare the papers in three different uh, package, in, in three different uh, files. Like, every paper, wait, sorry, I mean in three different folders, like... Every document you photocopy three times and arrange them according to the so you arrange them according to the checklist that you will see online. So there are documents that are starting and there are documents that are down. This will help you there. Okay. So normally when you enter the gate, you're going to meet um, security guards. They are there. And of course, they have your name because you booked the appointment. So they will check your name. They will they request for your ID and they will check your name. And then when you're there, they will allow you in. When you enter, there is a locker whereby they will give you, you have to leave all your belongings. The only thing that you're going to take with you is the documents and the cash, the money for the visa, either in cash or in card or whatever. Yeah. So you're not allowed to go in with the uh, phones and everything. Okay. So when you go there, of course, you're not the only one. There are so many people, maybe they have already booked their appointment. So you will go and sit and wait to be called. So when they call you, <laughs> you're not going like inside the office. It's just there. There is a, it's like a, a window glass <laughs> and the interviewer, the, the immigration uh, officer will just call you like yeah givens you come so they will ask you question because there there is like a microphone and everybody is hearing what they are asking you so these are the questions that they are going to ask you number one they will ask you which visa did you apply for so in my case i said the visa for intended marriage in germany okay now they will they will start asking you other questions like first you must produce the documents the documents according to the checklist so they might ask number one of course the document is the registration at the stanzam in 
in Germany if you're getting married in Germany so that document they will ask you for they will ask you for all the original documents that you have you will give them they will ask you about the language document that is a1 and it should only be from Goethe Institute so that is the only institution that is recognized to issue that certificate by the German Embassy so you will give them you will give them your birth certificate for verification purposes you will give them your passport all your original your passport too they will you will give them your spouse's noted passport you will give it to them uh what else the uh, your spouse um residence permit in germany yes he must be a resident or if not then he should have a paper that proves that he lives there with his address and everything yeah and then now here are the questions that they will ask you number one they will ask you how did you meet so in my case i said we met online okay so you ha you can be specific yes we met online on this dating dating app for me i said we met in afro introduction okay then they will ask you uh, did he come has he ever come to your country to visit like in my case of course i said he has been to kenya before and they will ask you how many times he came here to see you so of course you have to answer like in my case i would say maybe four five times you know okay uh, and then they will ask you if you have ever visited his country have you ever visited his country if yes you say yes and you also provide uh, they will see the visa stamp on your passport so for me in this case i said yes because i had a schengen visa and i traveled to germany back in 2022 for the very first time and they will ask you the duration of stay how long did you stay there so normally it could be one month two months three months it can't be more than that unless it was two different visas yeah so you will answer that they will ask you if your spouse has been married before if he has been married before they will ask you for the divorce papers recent so for them they can they can issue the divorce papers they can get it so you will provide the divorce papers from your spouse yeah they will ask you if he has children if he has children so yes if if, if in your case that he has children you say yes okay they will ask you have you met the children so you can say maybe yes or no it depends with have you met them or not so in my case there was no kids so i didn't meet anybody okay uh they will ask you about your spouse's work do you know his work uh you, of course if you're getting married to this person you should have the knowledge of, of what he do for a living <laughs> but of course you can't go and tell them um he's a robber or he's a terrorist or something so but you have to know what type of work he does this is to i think they're asking you these questions to see how you, how well you know the person you're intending to marry okay so be fluent be fluent on the day that you say that you met because this date of course you have already provided at stanza in germany for registration so this date should be the same if you met in november maybe 2022 please be specific don't change the story sorry <coughs> <coughs> so sorry So be specific and be honest as you can as possible okay they will ask you um for of course i have said the registration they will also ask you about for the job your job what do you do for a living so if you're a business person you can say yes i do this but be specific if you work in a salon or something you can say i'm a beautician yes either you own it or maybe you are working for someone else don't be scared to tell about your your not arbeit okay that is german to tell about your occupation okay don't be scared just tell everything if you sell clothes just be honest this is embassy they are like dci they are going to find out so please don't lie okay uh also 
of course they will ask you for the language certificate that that one i think i've already talked about and they will see the score okay and they will also ask you are you wishing to continue of course you will say yes if you're moving to the country you want to continue with the language yeah also they might ask you if you have already met his family so if you have already met his family that would be better if not then it's still okay just be honest have you met his his maybe his parents or yeah did they like you or something like that they just want to see how well you guys know each other okay so with all of that you are answering there and everybody is hearing the questions that you are being asked and you must be of course you must be fluent you must be loud and not be like there and just thinking about oh oh don't overthink and don't cram anything just be you tell the truth yeah tell the truth like how long have you known each other okay how long have you known each other no matter the duration just tell the truth okay then after all of this when they have confirmed all the documents that they needed from you they will of course they will they will uh, take them from you everything they will take the documents from you the necessary ones and then don't be scared if you forgot to photocopy because inside there there is also a photocopy machine and they can do it for you and you can pay later when you're walking out so after all those questions they will tell you to put the biometrics on the screen there the biometrics they will also ask you for the passport picture of your picture and it should be of specific uh, jpeg and um, size that make sure before you take this passport that you go to the website and see the size that they require and what should be uh, visible on that on that passport photo okay and please if you're taking this picture avoid to do a lot of makeup avoid to to like your hair just be as natural as you can and also put on an innocent face you know <laughs> that is a uh, that is something i learned okay you must be hmm. you must be yeah don't look like a bad girl and you have if you have like uh, no strings and and uh, you have you have piercings everywhere just please for that they don't carry it yeah just be simple okay for the for the this interview you don't have to actually like dress up for it as if you're going for work but it's good please dress up nicely dress up respectively because also you don't know the interviewer <laughs> you might meet a lady and damn um, she won't like you you might also meet a guy he won't like you because of your dressing code so just be simple be clean be just dress 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 like you're going for work okay that would be nice so after all of this they will take your biometrics and you can now they will request for the visa fee they will ask you if you have it in cash in this case it was 80 euros i don't know now in kenyan shillings maybe about 12 thousand or thirteen thousand they will ask you so you give it and they will give you a receipt and then they oh i forgot to tell you this at the gate when you enter there is a lady there uh now i'm talking to be specific in nairobi embassy german embassy in nairobi there is someone there at the gate they will give you a paper for g4s and they will request for your address so in this case because in kenya we don't have like registered addresses like um like in germany so you you can choose either dhl that you know there is one at mamangina you can choose g4s at uh uh what do we call at um uh, g4s where is it uh, it's near the airport there you can choose okay and but if you have like a physical address you can also provide that and be careful because that's how they are going to send it so you don't lose your passport okay so you will give your address and then you pay how much did i pay it you will pay according to 
depending on the distance and where you are living like in my case i think i paid 300 and something yeah and of course i didn't request that they bring it to my house i i was like let me go and pick it because <laughs> of course i didn't have a physical address and i was like no better better i go and get it knowing that it's there so they you will pay that amount they will give you a receipt and with that paper you will of course walk in with it for to the interviewer and you will hand it over when you hand it over that this uh that paper that's where now they will return the passport and the original documents to you when the decision has been concluded in this case it's your visa so in this case it's your visa whether you have it or not they must return it they must return your passport so hey guys now let me tell you after this you will uh, live there smiling you have already concluded everything you live at the gate you take your things and you can say goodbye and of course they will not tell you the duration at uh, the duration of your visa so yeah so in this case my visa i think i will i will tell you the next video so they will take time there is time for verification there is time for other things so stay tuned to the next video so that you can know how the, how long the verification process takes and how long my visa took so guys thank you so much for watching i hope i i have helped you in this case i hope that this video will will give you the courage to walk in there and to apply for a visa and if you're really applying for a visa i really wish you all the best and may god grant you favor may you get it may you smile the day that you receive a call to go and pick up your visa and until next time choose